Hey everyone, how's it going? I think I finally got everything set up here. You should be able to see my screen. I think we'll just wait until a few people get in here and then from there we can go over a few of the things that we added as well as kind of the new research process that I have been working on and that I've found pretty helpful so far. If anyone can actually hear me, I, I know I always ask this, can you drop a comment that says that you can hear me just to make sure I set up my mic correctly. Hey Matt, how's it going? All right, can you guys hear me? I don't see any comments here. All right. Okay, hey Jacob, hey Todor, hey Farsane. Hello. Akimi, hopefully I said your name right. All right, you guys can hear me. It's perfect. So, Merchant Former got a facelift over the weekend. We've been working on some stuff. It is now mobile friendly, so you can finally use this stuff on your phone, which is something that's been driving me personally crazy. So being able to do research while I'm not actually sitting in front of my computer is super helpful. Before I actually get into all of this, we redid all of the tutorial videos. That's the first thing you're going to see when you log into Merchant Former. If you have not, please, I beg you, please watch the videos because they will explain to you how each of these modules work. And then that should cut down on some of the questions that everyone keeps asking because they have been gone over in these videos. All right. So now that you guys can see me, we or hear me rather, we're going to go over some live research here. And the process I have been using for live research for the past, you know, two or three years now has been pretty similar. But one thing that I've been focusing on for the last couple of months is a lot of evergreen designs. You know, in the very beginning, it was really fun to chase the trends. It was really fun to chase all the holidays. Still do a little bit of that. Okay. It definitely makes sense when you're in the lower tiers in order to get enough, enough slots in order to place your shirts. But from what I've been focusing on now, I want stuff that sells year round, every single day, every single month that isn't related to a trend. It isn't related to a holiday. So in order to do that kind of research, previously we'd use the Merch Hunter, kind of take a look at stuff there. We had average moving sales rank. But the new module we introduce is called the Trend Tracker. Now the Trend Tracker is pretty slick. You'll be able to select a period, one month, two month, or three month and then an average selling rank. So what this is going to do, so if we select three months here and we look at, say, a sales rank between 200 and 300,000, it's going to show you a list of products and you'll be able to go through and look at the niches that these products are that have averaged over this period, three months, this sales rank. So we'll just click search here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so once upon a time, there was a girl who really loved books. It was me, the end. Okay, so over the last three months, it's averaged about a 200,000 sales rank. What that tells me right away is this shirt is a very, very good seller. But not only that, people who are really into reading, people who are really into books, books as a niche as a whole, I know is popular because I sell in that niche. But you can easily come in here and see, okay, over time, here's the sales rank graph, here's the price. This particular seller started off at $16.98. They kept selling, they kept selling. This, these are the sales right here, the sales rank. Once they notice that their sales are not, they're not just going to stop their consistent sales. This seller bumped their price up to $17.98, ended up making more money every single day, and continued selling. So what that really tells you is that, th is that shirts in the book niche are very, very popular. Hey, Young, how's it going? A far sane. All right, so just taking this as an example, you can come down here. It's going to show you the sales rank graph first. Um, we have the title, the merchant, the ace, and all the good stuff. So we will actually click over and take a look at this product in Amazon. Now, one thing, let's see, don't change. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at this module that you're going to notice over and over again is so many of the shirts that keep selling every single day, every single month, all of them, for the most part, have reviews. I've been harping on this for years now. It's incredibly important that 
you get these reviews. The way you get these reviews is selling as much volume as possible. So if you think about it, if you if you jump on a trend or you jump on a holiday, there's going to be a ton of competition. That's a given. But you really need to be able to get sales volume over time. If you can't get sales volume over time, you're not going to see more than maybe one review if you're lucky. I mean, we can open a few more of these. I haven't actually done this. Seven reviews. This one has 21 reviews. So as you see, reviews are going to be very, very popular. Hey, Matt, this is the key to the castle. I agree. I agree. This, I mean, when you're, when you're looking for evergreen shirts, evergreen shirts are going to be, once you get going in Merch by Amazon, they are going to be the basis that you kind of have your whole business built upon. Because if you go, if you, if you jump on a trend and it sells, you know, 200 shirts, that's great. But when the trend ends, what are you going to do? What's going to sustain your business? What's going to have the money rolling in to pay designers or VAs or whoever else you have working? If it's just you, you're going to be spending your time. You want to make sure that that time is paying you in royalties with evergreen shirts. As you come down here, um, you'll see the features. You can see the features in description here. There's no description on this shirt. But I saw this once upon a time. There was a girl who really loved books. And let's actually go into the book niche and see if we can find a phrase in the book niche that isn't actually all over the place. Because what this tells us right here is the book niche is popular and the book niche over a three month period is continuously selling. It's continuously bringing in money. Hey, Amy, how's it going? So from here, this was just a little, we simply click three months. We selected a range. I selected 200,000, 300,000. You can look at all of these. They're going to change. We click search, and this is the page that brought back. So from here, what I've been doing is, so I'll look in the trend tracker and try to find niches that are popular, that are selling evergreen shirts, guys, not something that is for a holiday or a trend. This is going to basically track trends, which happen every single day, aka evergreen shirts. So we can take this. Uh, once upon a time, there was a girl who really loved books. It was me. So we're, we're taking a look at the book niche. So after I find some niches in here, I'm going to go through a bunch of these. Once you find a niche, I have been going to the social hunter, picking Pinterest. I love Pinterest for research, for driving traffic. And I'm just going to type in funny book shirt. You see, I've searched it, searched it before. We'll let it come back with the results here. All right, so we're gonna what what this module does the social hunter it's split into two pieces you can use Etsy search or you can use um, Pinterest search which is what what we are using and it's going to show you some different information remember this stuff isn't on Amazon so it's going to show you pinners boards comments repins stuff like that the repins I really really like because what that does is it shows you that potential customers or people who are interested in the, these type of products if they repin it to their own board it means that they like those products. And when you have people that like products, that's basically social proof. You can't really get social proof on Amazon unless someone is actually purchasing your stuff. So this is really helpful to take a look at and say, hey, are people actually interested in this? Because what I see so many times is people will put up a really great design in some obscure niche and it may be the best design they've ever made, but if no one is interested in it, you're not going to see any sales. And it's just wasted effort at that point. I know people don't want to hear that, but that is the truth. So let's see. Turning pages is my cardio. First one that pops up. So let's actually search that in merchresearch.com. Turning pages is my cardio. I'm assuming this has a lot of products. It has four products. So that's not bad right off the bat. None of these are actually, I mean, this might be an illustration, but not sure. How can we actually switch up this design in order to have a unique phrase? All right, what about, does anyone have any ideas? We're gonna, we're gonna change this around a little bit. I'm going to, turning pages is my cardio, so we're gonna go back to merch research. We're going to say, instead of cardio, we're going to say workout. Instead of turning, we're going to say flipping. Flipping pages is my workout. And you can have your own unique illustrations. It's a different phrase. I'm going to take a guess. I haven't looked at this before. I'm going to take a guess. This isn't actually on Amazon yet. And look at that. 
no results for that phrase. So why is that important? One, we know that this phrase right here, turning pages is my cardio, is in the book niche. But the reason, the way we got there is we were looking over here at the trend tracker, three months. Let me just go back and do what I did before. So we see right here, number one, we see that in the book niche, funny sayings, funny phrases, stuff like that are popular. They sell over time. They sell every single day or every single month. They keep selling. These are evergreen designs. The first cardio example has a typo. Oh, I made a typo, huh? All right, let's, uh, let's keep this. Turning pages is my cardio. Did I spell cardio wrong? I think I did. Let's see here. Social Hunter. Interest. Funny book shirt. Lifting books is my cardio. I like that. We're going to look at that next. All right. I don't know why I have that open. Oh, oh, Kari Doe. The shirt definitely has a typo. I completely overread that. Good catch, Amber. Which is funny because it has 60 repins, which is kind of crazy. I guess everyone else is, is, is not paying attention as well. Um, so turning pages in my cardio. So first, we went into the Trend Hunter, okay, or the Trend Tracker, under the Trend Hunter. We found that books, very popular niche. If you are a seller in books, you know that that is a popular niche. From there, once you find a niche that is popular, what I want to do is I want to take a look at different ideas on Pinterest. Pinterest, huge social platform that has the perfect demographic for sellers. So from there, we go to the social hunter, which is what I have open. I selected Pinterest as a search engine. And the keyword, I just typed in funny uh, niche shirt. In this case, the niche was book funny book shirts and this is what we came up with I just took the very first one off the page this is why I don't understand why people say that research is not needed or it's too hard blah 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 it's so simple we took the first one on the page we saw that the first one on the page has has four results on Amazon but we don't want to copy everyone else because we want something unique in a niche that is selling so all we did was change it up to this right here, flipping pages is my workout. Now I saw lifting books is my cardio. I like that. Let's see. Lifting books is my cardio. It really just takes just a little bit of effort. There you go. Not a single result, just some books. This one shows up as a related phrase. Maybe they turn pages and don't read. That, that might be true. That might be true. So that's just a perfect example. That literally off the top of my head took, what, 30 seconds to find something that wasn't on Amazon. Easy enough to put up on your own account. It's also in a big niche where you know that customers are buying. So this stuff really doesn't need to be hard. So let's go back here. The trend for In the trend tracker, you can look at one month periods. I typically like to look at longer periods because the longer period that a shirt in a niche is selling, the more data points you have that you can say, okay, this is actually an evergreen shirt. It's consistently selling over, you know, a quarter of the year essentially in a specific range. So we'll go back to what we did before and we'll let that load. All right, let's see here. What's this say? Best uncle ever. I just freaking love owls. Trying to look for something that we can actually change up here and put unique. Unique stuff, Mama Bear, Bride, Pluto. I'm sure if you guys have done merch by Amazon at all, which is almost everyone watching this, you've seen a lot of these shirts. The reason you've seen a lot of these shirts, let's just open them up here so I can beat a dead horse. They have reviews. This one only has one review. Most of these are gonna have multiple. This one has five reviews. This one has five reviews. Okay, that design right there is nothing special. Every single person watching this can do a better job. Now, not just a better job, but you can do unique stuff, which is what I just showed you. If you come to the table with hundreds of unique stuff, unique designs in these big niches that you know sell year round, that's how you build the basis for your business. You're gonna make sales every single day if you have enough designs up that are actually researched. All right, so they, have, they all have reviews. Let's try to find another example of how this works. 
Let's see here. Rescued is my favorite breed. So dog rescue, huh? I wonder, see, 11, 11 reviews, three answered questions. It's Amazon's choice. This is going to be extremely hard to compete with if you just went in here and made your own. Rescued is my favorite breed. But, so we've, we've taken a look at this. We know that over an average of three months, bestsellers rank in the 200,000s. That's really good. You can see it's consistently selling. We'll head over again to Pinterest. And the keywords, let's search for dog rescue. What's that? What should I search for? Dog rescue shirt how about that i'll let that come back with the results all right a dog is the only relative you can choose let's actually sort this list by comments or repins rather all right that is a lot of repins but these are really really simple rescue is my favorite breed would they even have a cat one A lot of, of the same phrases. Remember guys, I'm looking for something that I can actually change up that might not be on Amazon. Hey Eric, how's it going? Stray Pride Rescue Dog Advocate. Okay. Let's just look up Rescue Dog Advocate. Rescue Dog Ad... Uh, how do you spell advocate? Advocate. Advocate. All right, 243 results. All right, so let's just switch this up to, I don't know, Rescue Cat. See if that's a thing. 98 results, okay. How could we change up Rescue Cat or Rescue Dog Advocate? Hmm. Any ideas? Any comments? Coming up with this stuff off the top of your head is sometimes a little challenging. Rescue dog mom, maybe? Or dad? Now oh, that's even more competitive, looks like. Yeah. So when I see these, what I'm looking for is up here, guys. If I see a ton of results when I'm doing my research like this, I typically just move on to the next thing. Because I don't want to compete with, you know, 600 different sellers in Merch by Amazon. I want to put something up that is unique that is going to sell every single month without worrying about trends, without worrying about any of that. Let's see. Adopt, don't shop. It's not dog hair, it's canine confetti. Doesn't really have to do with rescuing. All right, so maybe this isn't the best uh, animal rescue squad. All right, thank you for the idea. Let's actually look that up. Animal rescue squad. All right, 42 results. Okay, that's a little better. I'm looking up here again. Can we change this at all? Animal rescue Hmm, let's see. How about volunteer? I don't know if I spelled that right. I did not. There we go. 106 results. So if you do your trademark checks, 106 results, you don't always have to come up with unique sayings. That being said, you need to have unique shirts. So if you were just to come in here and put, you know, volunteer dog hugger right here with a different type of, of dog paw, that's not going to fly. You're not going to make a, team, a ton of different sales from that. But if you came in here and you put Animal Rescue Volunteer, something like that, on a shirt with your own unique graphics, you know, you, you, put, you put the saying organized around the graphics in your own unique way. You didn't just copy someone else's layout. That is going to be a unique shirt that you'll be able to actually get in front of people, rather if it's optimizing your listing, running AMS ads. And when you're running AMS ads in big niches, you know, to dogs, cats, stuff like that, you have an ability to test the market very, very quickly because if you set just a tiny budget, you know, $5, and you run it in a dog niche, you're going to see if that shirt does well 
almost immediately once those ads start running. It's not going to be, you know, if you put a shirt up in a niche that might have zero total results in the main overarching niche and you try to run AMS ads to it, you're not going to see very many impressions at all. All right, let's 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 take a look at the two I see in chat here. Team Rescue, Rescue Squad. It's a good idea. 18 results. All right, Eric, we're getting better. You should You should go into this niche since that was your idea. And let's see, Team Rescue Squad. Rescue Squad. Uh, again, when you're doing your research, you actually have to look at the designs themselves. These come up because these keywords are in these listings, but they might not necessarily be on the actual shirt. So let's see, Groom Rescue Team has some new dogs. I'm looking through here. All right, so that is, Eric, that's the perfect example. So when you look up Team Rescue Squad, you can put that on a shirt, your own unique artwork, everything like that, because it's going to be in the main niche of dogs and rescuing dogs, rescuing animals. We found out through the Trend Hunter, the Trend Tracker here, that that's a popular niche. We took a look at it on Pinterest, and then finally, uh, Eric, Eric here came up with this idea. Where is it? It's one of these. I'm just going to start closing these out. I have way too many open. Team Rescue Squad is somewhere in here. Here it is. It's not actually on any of these shirts. So that would be the perfect opportunity to put a shirt up in a very large niche that you can actually get in front of people because it doesn't exist on Amazon right now. All I want in my life is for my wiener to be happy <laughs> with a dog. That is that is pretty funny. Let's see. Oh, you know what? That's probably not even going to show up here because it's such a long phrase. Let's see. Wiener to be happy. We'll just... We'll just search that. I think I misspelled that. I did. W I E. There we go. Who is is this your shirt, Parsain? Right here. Let's let's go back and look that up properly spelled. So there's a single shirt on here that might be yours. But then you could combine, you could combine. See, one of the things you can do is you can take different phrases like this, different ideas like this, and combine it with the rescue niche that we just looked at. So, you know, it could say, all I want in my life is for my wiener to be happy, and then have, you know, a logo that you create that says Team Rescue Squad underneath it, because maybe the people who, out there who rescued a wiener dog from the pound would be the perfect buyer for that shirt. And again, we know that it's popular, because we went over here, we looked at the trend tracker, and we saw that these rescue shirts are selling all the time. They're not just selling once and falling off. They're not just becoming a trend for you know two weeks and then falling off. They're consistent sellers, and this is what you need to be building your business on. All right. Hey, Stefan, how's it going? All right, let's see if we can find some different uh, some different niches in here. I picked a different period of one month in the same range. But this, again, I'm just going to keep saying it. What this is going to do is it's going to show you over a one-month period, so over 30 days, over 60 days, over 90 days. Show me the shirts that have actually averaged this bestsellers rank. So if you're averaging a bestsellers rank, that means that it's going to consistently sell in whatever sales rank you're looking at. So if you're looking at 200,000 to 300,000 and you're averaging it over one month, that means that every few days these shirts are selling. Every few days the same shirt is selling over and over again. So you guys need to be looking at this kind of stuff instead of just randomly guessing what people would want to buy. Let's keep, here's the shirt that we looked at before, Rescued is my favorite breed. Again, so many of these shirts have just a ton of reviews. Your goal should be to get reviews. In order to get reviews, you need to come to the table with unique stuff. If you're just trying to be a Me Too brand, you will get, you'll get killed. And you'll be one of the people that come in and start complaining that you're not seeing sales. And I'm telling you, so many people that aren't seeing sales, they're not seeing sales because they don't take the time. The 30 seconds it takes to actually look at the data and say, okay, this is doing well in this niche. How can I come to the table with something unique, aka unique phrases, unique artwork, and get it in front of the right audience? 
Jack, take a nice nap. Missed the beginning of the live. Hey, what's up? I didn't. I did. We didn't go over too much. I'm going over the kind of the same stuff. So, I am recording it. I'll throw it up on YouTube later. Let's see, Father. Some of these shirts are ooh, Father Thor. I would not. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I'm not Marvel. As you see, the the brand here is not Marvel. So, just don't play in the gray area. So many people do that, and then they come in the groups and. Well, you guys know the rest. All right. What's in the oven? A sweet cupcake. Again, I'm looking for stuff that is consistently selling and that I can actually make changes to, aka new phrases. That's what you have to be asking yourself. Can I take this anti-shark and change it? Well, the first thing I would tell you is if you did any research on this whatsoever, you know, this is based off of a YouTube video, I would not touch this with a 10-foot pole. Need an arc. I know a guy. Okay. What else do we have? Promoted to daddy. That is a creepy shirt. Is this from a... This must be from something. Mythical? we has got an AMS store. Is this from a... A good mythical morning? I'm not sure. But... Notice it took me five seconds to say, I don't know what that is. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Because if you don't understand something, you shouldn't be going into it. Let's actually go up here. Change this to two months. Actually, let's change it to three months. So we averaged out over a three-month period in this sales rank. Average price of almost $19. That's really good. Because if your average price in these big niches is almost $19, then you're going to be making some very good royalties if we can actually get a unique product up there, ranked and selling. That's a collab brand. I have not done much in collab, so I did not recognize it. But if it's a collab brand, which now I know that it is, that's definitely something you shouldn't be infringing on if you're just in a normal Merch by Amazon account. All right. Promoted to daddy. If you don't like Trump, then you probably won't like me, and I'm okay with that. See these these shirts, two thousand two hundred and three thousand best sellers rank is consistently selling over the three month period. I bet she has a ton of reviews. Thirty one reviews. See, this person does not need to worry. Anyone who tries to copy his shirt, this person, whoever it is, won't care at all because they will always beat out any of the Me Too people who try to, you know take this shirt, put up the same saying. It's got 31 reviews. So 31 kind of social proofs that this is what people like. It's almost five stars. So that's the way you guys need to be thinking of long term. How do I get reviews? How do I get in these big niches? Because the big niches are still available. You just have to come up with a, a few phrases that are unique that you can actually get in front of people. You, David. So, right off the bat, I know that this is infringement as well. This is from a TV show on Netflix. So, I'm, I'm going to guess in, in the next few weeks this will be gone. Let's see, what else? Birthday girl, dancing queen. May spontaneously talk about cars. Amazon's Choice, seven reviews. So if you guys are noticing, all of these shirts have reviews. That's why they consistently sell. And if you price your shirt at $35, $25, whatever, whatever kind of pricing structure that you have your heart set on, sure, you might sell some, but in the end, it's a game to get ranked long-term. And the way you do that, in my experience, is selling as much volume as possible. Because the more volume you sell, the more chances you stand at actually getting these reviews. I want to believe weekend forecast, 100% chance of bourbon. So let's take a look at this shirt. Great gift for fans and lovers of bourbon ornaments. KY bourbon, bourbon sauce, honey shots, bourbon balls, bourbon, blah, 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 blah. So this is a bit keyword stuffed not that great of a design but hey i have to give it to them it's consistently selling that's the name of the game here so let's actually go and take weekend forecast 100 percent chance of bourbon 
So let's actually just Google list of alcohol. Actually, look at that. Google just tells you all of these. We, let's try tequila. So 100% chance of tequila. Four results. Let's see. Give me coffee. This one's talking about coffee. This one's talking about coffee. So is this one, and so is this one. So the first thing you want to do is I'm on Opera because I have a million and a half tabs open on Chrome. First thing you'd want to do is actually use the Merchant Former trademark check. Just run a trademark check on the actual page. Make sure that that is not uh, this phrase right here, 100% chance of bourbon. That's not trademarked. Then you want to head over to the USPTO. Let's actually do that. USPTO. Right here. Nope. Sorry. This one. We are going to search tests. Basic word mark search. 100% chance of tequila. Hopefully I'm spelling that right. Ooh, I searched change. I did. I, I'm all over the place today. Let's see. 59 results. Okay, this is a little bit different. Thank you, Jason. Let's see here. Okay, so maybe not tequila. Let's go back and find something a little... Uh, mead. Mead. That's honey wine, I believe. Mead. Let's try that. There you go. No results right off the bat. And people are into their meat. I know that that's definitely a very niche a niche thing. And we got that from, again, looking at the trend tracker, noticing that this shirt right here, 100% chance of bourbon, very simplistic design. You don't have to overthink this, guys. Has a three-month average of 205,000 bestseller ranks. So over three months, it consistently sat at around 205,000 that means over three months it sold probably every few days like clockwork and you can see the actual graph right here 100 percent chance of weed so you could use that too let's let's actually check both of those through the usbto real quick so we started with 100 percent. i keep saying change chance of mead okay no results there let's go back and weed there all right now let's let's check this for we're gonna look on amazon to see this says there's 99.9 .9 chance that doesn't say weed on it all right so those two phrases that we just went over again we found this we saw that this phrase said weekend forecast 100 percent chance of bourbon the first thing i did was just google a list of alcohol i saw mead was on here this is honey wine Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that's uh, Honey Wine. We checked it on test. This is the trademark electronic search system. Make sure it's free to use. No one's going to come after you. No one's registered a trademark. Then I looked in chat. I saw Jack here uh, said 100% chance of weed. So we checked that as well. So weekend forecast, 100% chance of weed. Weekend forecast, 100% chance of mead. Both of those don't have any products on Amazon. But we know that if we put something like that up and got in front of the right audience, we could have an evergreen seller here. Because something that's very closely related, this one right here, talking about bourbon, is selling all the time. 100% chance of vodka. That's actually, I bet that has been done quite a bit. Let's look. Vodka. 38 results. So, one, two, Bloody Marys. Yeah, you could go into individual drinks as well. But look at this one. Camping with a chance of drinking, 23 reviews. Here, here's one of the vodka ones, you know, two reviews. So, you know this stuff is sold. You definitely know this stuff is sold. And it's so easy to come in here to the trend tracker and find the evergreen stuff and then just use that as a starting point for your research and go on from there so you can take you can take all these evergreen results and then come up with your own evergreen sayings and phrases that aren't actually spammed to hell on amazon and you can use that to actually get in front of people because if you were to come in here so many people do this they look on amazon they see something with with let's see 
you know, 23 reviews. They come over here, they type this in, they say, oh, this one has 23 reviews. They pick Arial font, they type the same thing up and put it up. Three weeks later, they, of course, haven't sold any because they're going up against a shirt that is priced really low, really low with 23 reviews. They're never going to beat this shirt out. And then they start complaining, oh, I didn't get any sales, merch is dead, blah, blah, blah. Because these people are putting forth zero effort. They're just They're just so lazy. And I'm showing you that you have to put forth just a little bit of effort to find these things that would, they're going to sell, guys. They're going to sell. 100% chance of hot dog. I don't know if that makes any sense, Francis. All right, let's close these out and see if we can find a few more examples. But 100% chance of mead, M-E-A-D, and 100% chance of weed. Currently not on Amazon, so someone watching this should go make those shirts. All right, let's close this out. Oh, you know what you could do? I just saw hundred uh, in the alcohol list, sake. You could make a weekend forecast, 100% chance of sushi and sake. You could combine two different things, because I know su sushi shirts <laughs> work really well. Kind of hard to talk, but uh, combining two different niches is an easy, easy way to actually niche down your research and get in those bigger niches. You know, sushi, big niche. Uh, drinking. Again, big niche. If you combine those two together and you can find something that is actually averaging out sales every few days, that's literally the recipe for making sales on Amazon. Find the customer base, give the customer something unique that isn't actually out there, and make sure that you have a customer base that is actively purchasing. That's all you have to do, and just do it over and over again. Hey, Albert. <laughs> Merch is dead. I would strongly disagree with you. Hey, Nicole, how's it going? All right, let's see if we can find some more things here. Let's go to the second page. And a monster truck. Triumph. This is a motorcycle brand. And this is not a motorcycle. I really doubt this is a... A shirt from the brand itself, so that's some infringement. Four reviews, though. Let's see, vintage. Yeah, I'm living my best life. Let's see here, King. I pause my game. It's my birthday. Great. Jeez, there's so many of these shark shirts. I'm getting really sick of them. I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of you are too. Hey, Teddy, how's it going? All right, let's see. Um, again, I'm looking in here for stuff that is evergreen, that consistently sells, that I can actually change up so I can come to the table with unique sayings and phrases in these big niches that I know sell you around. That is what I want to build my merch account on. I don't want to build, I'm, I'm assuming most of you do not want to build merch accounts on trends because you'll make really good money for one month and then the next month you'll be broke. All you need is mead. It's not bad. Let's check that. Let's take a quick quick change here. All you need is mead. Search. But first mead. So much mead, so little time. I'm just here for the mead. And whatever that's... Now, one point just to bring up is make your... If you're going to put text on a design, it needs to be massive so that when people are actually... If you're a shopper going through here and you're like, okay, I can read this. I can read this too. Yep, I can still read that. I can't read that at all. If I was an actual shopper, I'd be passing that up very quickly. It says Meads Bay, so it's an actual place. All right. Not a bad idea though. I mean, you could you could take this. All you need is mead and X. You know, mead is a type of wine, and we know I know that uh meat, that the wine niche is definitely very very popular. Pink Fong are actually now officially on merch. Yep, I know they're on merch. So all of these knockoffs of all those shirts do, 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 do. I don't know why people do that. They're probably going to get shut down. And all the money that they made from those sales, they're never actually going to see. There's, And I'm trying to show you guys that you don't need to infringe on anyone to make good money on merch. You really don't. There's no reason you should be playing in those gray areas. 
All right, let's see here. Be kind, I just bait you some. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's see, what else? Just a simple pirate flag here. Francis, I wasn't even going to try. A Anguilla? 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 Is that close enough on that shirt? I probably butchered it. All right, let's see. What else we got? Respect the beard, bearded dragon. Scoopski potatoes. This is probably an actual, yep, impractical joker. So this is a brand. Uh, just a girl who loves dogs. Now, one thing to point out is that so many of these designs, they're not something special. They're not something that some artist had to sit down and work on for 48 days and three nights. You know, it's... There's simple stuff that the customer wants. There's a particular type of buying audience on Amazon. So you guys have to realize kind of where that is and where you should be spending your time. Let's see. You guys keep throwing ideas in the chat here. Far saying, all I weed is love. Okay, we're gonna look that up. All I weed is love. That, like a pot leaf in the shape of a heart, would probably sell. Let's see. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing that phrase on a shirt here. The last time I did a video where we went over listings and with drug references, some of you guys got real angry at me. I got some real nasty emails, so maybe we shouldn't be uh, looking these up. I don't know. All right. Back to the trend tracker, We're just looking at evergreen shirts. This is the stuff that sell year round, all the time, month in, month out. Don't be. <laughs> Some of this stuff is funny and it doesn't need to be hard. Don't be a Richard. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. That is probably from something. I don't know what, so I will skip it. Let's see, thinking about hunting. I wonder if, is hunting season coming up? It might be. Let's see. Hunting season. Uh, hunting seasons, maybe. No. Hunting season is a long way away. All right, so we'll skip that for now. Keep going here. Choose kind, rad. I typically stay away from the choose kind stuff. I don't know if that's a mistake or not, but you know. Oh God, people relax. Hey, I can't control other people's emotions. Let's see, chicken whisper. Well, that's an actual kind of cool, that's an illustration. That's probably a unique illustration. And, you know, this person right here may be paid $20, 30 $40 for this illustration. I don't know. Maybe they paid a few hundred. But you come down here and you look at the sales graph, like this person is selling so well, it's definitely paying off for them. And you see the price here. They price almost $19, so they're making good money every time they sell something. So if you know what sells, if you can get it in front of the right audience, which this person clearly has, you can pay a little bit extra when you're outsourcing. If you're outsourcing, maybe you're doing your own work. So it really just depends on what your goal is for merch. If you're trying to build a brand, then maybe all your stuff is hand drawn in your own particular style. If you're just trying to sell as many t-shirts as possible, you know, maybe not everything's illustrated. Maybe you focus more on what I'm going over today, which is finding the unique phrases that you want to put up. There's a difference between trying to build a brand and trying to be a t-shirt seller. I mean, there is a distinction there. Chicken Whisperer is trademarked. Well, that is a good thing to know. Really? I don't think it used to be, did it? Let's take a look. Tess. Do -do -do -do. Chicken Whisperer. I think I spelled that right. Uh, dead, 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 and this one has no registration number. Yeah, 
Yeah. Da, da, da. So unless I spelled that wrong, I don't think this is trademarked. Primary class of not t-shirts. Primary class of, again, not t-shirts. We can come over here, look at the documents. Let's look at their drawing, Chicken Whisper, okay. This is from magazine, so I don't think that that's actually trademarked. Unless I'm completely missing something here. The way the analytics show up on the screen look good, easier to browse through. Yeah, so one of the things that we changed was actually how all of this looks, um, particularly on mobile. So if you're on your phone and you log into Merch Informer through the web browser, you can actually scroll through all of this on your phone and it's going to look fine, which it did not before. And so that is definitely a big upgrade that we did. On TMDN it is. Uh, what is TMDN? I mean, really, we should all be looking at the actual government website where things are trademarked. Graduation kisses, twenty-five cents, one dollar. College is expensive. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good idea too, Farsane. All right, let's keep looking through here. Oh, something else I want to show you guys, since there's like a ton of people watching us. Um, if you go over to the Merch Hunter, I'm sure you're all familiar with the Merch Hunter, and just click search. This is going to show you the best selling shirts on Amazon at the current moment. So the best selling shirt on Merch by Amazon currently is this Mommy Shark do 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 do. And something that we added, sorry, I'm trying to read chat here. Uh, also a trademark check website. If you're doing trademark checks, you need to be using the USPTO website because this is going to be the government website. This is where all the actual official stuff runs through. So the last, the last checks you ever do should be over here at the USPTO. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, so if you're in here and you're looking at the Merch Hunter, everything's gonna look a little bit different. You know, you still have your features and descriptions, average best-selling rank, moving average, all that. What we did add is, let's just find a Marvel. Marvel, okay, if you click this little button right here, Looks like an eye, it says details. It's going to bring up a graph and all of this stuff, it's going to check the title, the features, and the description, and it's going to mark all of them that actually have trademarks in them. So as you can see, Marvel brings you over to the USPTO. Marvel is the mark. Clearly, this is a trademark. So if you're coming in here and you're looking at people's bullet points and you're looking for keywords or phrases that you can actually put in your shirts that you're putting online. Remember, you need to be coming up with unique phrases, unique shirts. But when you're doing your bullet points, you're trying to include different keywords. And you come in here and you take a look at the Merch Hunter. It's actually going to trademark check these bullet points, trademark check the features in the title for you. Now, this is a good example. Right here it says red, trademark registered, investigate further. That means you actually have to go in and look if it is a trademark. Just right here, it says mom shirt, mom t-shirt, Mother's Day. So mother keeps getting pulled up. So you can click on that. It'll bring you over here. Now, just because mother is a trademark does not mean that you can't use it. That's why we say investigate further. So you can go in and we can look at, let's see, goods and services. Zero to five, right? That's clothing. But it's for socks. This is a trademark for socks. So you can put it up on tank tops, sweatshirts, t-shirts. You can use mother in your listing but we are going to bring it up just so if there is some nuance to it, you can click it, you can investigate further, and you can know, hey, is this a trademark? If I were to put this on a t-shirt, would I be infringing on this brand? We can't tell you that based on the data on USPTO. You need to actually go and look at it for yourself. So this is in the browser, not the app. Yeah, this is all in the browser, Amber. Um, so if you are on your phone and you want your favorites to sync up correctly, just log in on the browser. So we made that all mobile friendly. And uh, right now I'm going over the Merch Hunter, the stuff that we added there. Um, the trademarks are so helpful because I know that everyone is scared to death about getting trademark violations. And I get it. I've been there, done that. I've had many common word stuff taken down. Yeah, Teddy, I know it's a common word. Um, a lot of the one word phrases 
I, I, can you really call it a phrase if it's one word? But a lot of the one words that have trademarks associated with them are going to be perfectly fine to use. So I wouldn't really worry about it that much. But again, if you're if you see something like maybe Apple is trademark, right? And that doesn't mean you can't use Apple on a T-shirt, but it does mean that if you investigate for the if, you, if for some reason you have no idea about Apple computers. And you go and you take a look and you realize, okay, this is a brand. If you use Apple in any way to reference that brand, that's going to get you in trouble. But if you're talking about like an apple that you eat, maybe you want to put on a t-shirt shirt, a teacher shirt, that's perfectly fine. So you won't have any issues with that. Let's see. Oh, as you see, Endgame came out. Tons of Marvel shirts. We'll check this out. Mother... Rock. So, if I take a look at this just right off the bat, Floral Rock Mother Best Mother Grand Year. So, all of those apparently have trademarks to them, but they're common phrases, they're common words. If I were to put a shirt up and I were to say something about rock or put floral in it, I personally do not have any reason to think that that was going to get me in trouble at all. Let's see. Let's check on floral. This is an example. Floral is apparently a trademark. I have no idea why. 025 for wide width footwear for women. So not only is this just a common word, but it is in the most weird, obscure, wide width footwear for women clothing, if you will. So no problem to put that in a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. Or a hoodie, or any any of the products that we can put up on Merch by Amazon. So you guys don't need to worry about this. That is more for you to actually investigate further if you see a phrase or a saying that you want to use in your keywords, if it's bringing that up. All right. So let's actually go back to the trend hunter, the trend tracker. I'm going to try to find one more example and then wrap this up and, and hop off for now. So three months, again... You can pick between one, two, and three months. I have been looking at three months since we began working on this simply because I want to see shirts and niches that have been consistently selling for the last three months. So we will go ahead and click search. I didn't change the average BSR here. Straight out of my 30s. Okay, very consistent seller. Very simplistic. I don't know if I could change that up that much, so I'm just not going to do it. Uh, 10 years, 120 months, so this is probably for a 10-year-old. 20 reviews, I wonder if they have shirts like this for, you know, 11-year-olds, 12-year-olds. They probably do, so I probably won't go into it, but this is how you get ideas, guys. You get ideas by looking at what customers are actually buying. I mean, why would you want to sit there and randomly guess what customers are buying when you can actually just see what they're buying so you can think like a customer and say, okay, if this is what they're buying now, what can I offer the customer that's different that they would also purchase? Stop the foot shaming. <laughs> All right, let's see. Wide width is a good. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. All right, what else can we find in here? Trump stuff. Because I'm a lady. Now, something to keep in mind is when we went up here, I selected three months, but I, I kept the average BSR at zero to 100,000. So that means over a three-month period, it averaged under 100,000 bestsellers rank. So a lot of these shirts that show up when you do this parameter are going to be brands, like big brands, Marvel, stuff like that. So you don't want to be infringing on that kind of stuff, guys. Again, right here, periodic table of Marvel. Let's see. If we can find anything. Just a girl who loves sloth. Sloth is a big niche. Sloth is a huge niche. Let's actually see if we can find if we can find a phrase in the sloth niche right here. All right, so we're going to go over to the social hunter. The same thing. We found a niche that sells well. Now we're going to go look on Pinterest. Funny sloth shirt. And we're going to try to come up with a unique phrase about sloths. Okay. Eric says, what about tank tops and pops? So you can find those in the product search. I'm actually not sure if we put tank tops in there yet, but they will be coming. But you have to realize that the majority of the sales on Amazon are going to be t-shirts. So even if you're going to be selling tank tops and stuff like that, 
I would highly recommend that you start your search looking at t-shirts because that's going to give you the most complete picture of the data in order to translate that over to different products. All right, let's see here. This is not too helpful. I live, I live slow, die whenever. Okay, that's kind of hilarious. Okay, we got a sloth drawing and a sleep. Never postpone what you can cancel. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Never postpone what you can cancel. Three results. Okay, one shirt here, two, three. These are basically, the, this is what I'm talking about. These two shirts, whoever copied who here is just playing a losing game. They're playing a losing game. Real feet have curves. I want, <laughs> I want to present if you use that. Francis, you put that up. You put that shirt up and I hope you get a sale. That's actually funny. Let's see here. Sloth plus 4th of July. Farsane, give me an idea and I'll search for that. Linda, I have merchant form but my merch tracker doesn't look like what you have been showing. Is there an upgrade that I need to get? We just pushed out Merch 2.0 today. That's what I'm kind of going over. So if you just go in and you log into Merch Informer, it's going to look like this. Everything's going to look a lot cleaner. It's going to work on mobile. We included uh, this new module called Trend Tracker down here. So I'm just going over some of the new research, um, what I have been using the past few months to find evergreen designs. So this isn't a bad idea. Never postpone what you can cancel. Um, I'm still looking for something that I can change up a little bit so I have unique phrases. I'm already tired tomorrow. That's probably overdone. No hurry, no worries. Want to hang out. Always be yourself unless you give me a sloth. That's probably been way overdone as well. see born to be wild anything you can do i can do slower what about anything anything you have done i have done slower there you go i mean may maybe that could be related to a sloth i don't know if that would sell too well let's see born to be what says mild? Does that make any sense to you guys? Born to be mild with a sloth? or sloths mild mannered or something? All right, let's see here. People, not a big fan. That's not sloths. Just a girl who loves sloths. Spirit animal. What? Okay, let's see here. I've got to take a look at this. No! Where did it go? Here it went. Let's see. Where is this from? Doesn't seem to have a link. And that would probably sell very, very, very well on Amazon. Don't select youth, though, if you do that. Do not select youth. All right. Sloth, I'm procrastinating. Okay, I like that. That combines two niches, sloths and crafts, you know, jewelry building. So let's go over here. I'm procrastinating. Okay, I can't. They all use the same graphic except for this guy. Today I plan to do nothing, and if I'm not done by the end of the day, I'll finish tomorrow. I love that, Farsane. That's perfect. All right, let's see. Close some of these out. Let's just look that up. Today I plan to do nothing. Zero results. Farsane, we should do a video because you are full of ideas on the fly here. 
unless you've already written these down and you're just dropping them. But today I plan to do nothing with a, you, that is the perfect phrase to use with a sloth. And again, we found the sloths are definitely big sellers by looking over here in the trend tracker. Then I started to look at uh, Pinterest here. I'm mostly peace, love, and light. <laughs> so that's that's pretty funny too. Let's see. Live slow, die whenever. So if you can find unique phrases, like Farsane said, today I plan to do nothing, and you can take that and spin it a hundred different ways with your own unique images of sloths, like you can actually break into these massive niches that you don't think you can. As long as you have unique stuff that people find funny, you need to know that the customer is there, but if you can make sure that the customer thinks the shirt is funny, the customer is already interested in the niche you're looking at, the overarching niche, remember, that's what you're looking at mainly, is the big niches, and then you want to niche down, niche down uh, smaller in those niches. Okay, you see the results, but why are you not checking if they're selling or not? So... We went, this is the whole purpose of the trend tracker here. So let's see, I set this to three months. So we're gonna look at over a three month period, the average bestsellers rank below 100,000. And let's see if we can find that sloth shirt again. Da, 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 da. All right, so the question is, we're looking at results, but why are we not checking if they're selling? So what we did is we searched in the trend tracker we search over a three month period, these shirts have averaged less than 100,000 bestsellers rank, which means they're selling all the time. And you come down here and we see this shirt right here and we think to ourselves, what is the overarching niche in this shirt right here? The overarching niche is gonna be the sloth niche. People like sloths, they're cute animals, they're funny. So we see over the last three months, this shirt has averaged a bestsellers rank of 47,000 which means that more than likely the shirt is selling every single day. Then we back that data up with an actual sales graph here. Every time it goes down, that's a sale. So sale, 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 sale. It sells over and over and over again. So we can reasonably estimate that, you know, the sloth niche is a huge niche, it's selling. And then we think to ourselves, how can we enter this giant niche where there's a million different sloth shirts? And that's when we start looking at you know, Pinterest. And I looked at Pinterest in the social hunter over here. And you kind of see what's available and what kind of phrases can you spin in your own unique way to get your unique products into these big niches that are selling over and over again. Because you, you need that little bit of edge over all the other sellers. You shouldn't just be finding a shirt and redoing that shirt. You need that edge, which is unique products in front of customers. And you can use this to figure out what are the customers? And the customers are people who buy sloth shirts according to this data right here. Hey Kristen, how's it going? Hey Jane. Jane, I mean Jay. Hey Demitar. So yeah, so that is a perfect example. I mean Farsain gave us that idea today. I plan to do nothing. All right, we looked that up on Merch Research after we found out, hey, sloths are very popular. Let's think of a phrase that we can put up in the big niche that no one else is using. Search that through Merch Research, and look at that. Not a single shirt on Amazon with that phrase. Not even one with slots on it. So super, super easy. Once you put that shirt up, make sure it's properly optimized. I've gone over that in a million other videos. And then if you know that you have a good graphic, it's not something you put together in five seconds, maybe look into AMS, putting maybe five, ten dollars behind it, see if you can actually get it up there in the ranks quicker. All right, does anyone have any questions over the stuff that I've gone over today? Otherwise, I think I will probably head out. Anyone at all? Retired. Not my problem anymore. All right, guys. So if, no, if anyone has any questions and you're watching this in a replay, drop it in the comments below. Um, if you want to check all this stuff out, you can go to merchantformer.com. There is a free three-day trial, so make sure to check that out. You want to look at the trend tracker. It's under the trend hunter in the left-hand menu. And guys, you really need to be looking at this sort of stuff because your entire business is going to be based on these evergreen sellers. They're going to be the ones that carry you when sales are slow. 
make sure you get on that take a look at everything and get your uploads done all right guys i appreciate you all watching i'll catch you next time we do a live thanks